I almost fainted at the end of my first week of medical school. Hello everyone, my name is Nimit Vedia and I'm a first year medical student at the University of Toronto in Ontario, Canada. Today I'll be talking about my first week of medical school and on how I generally felt about it. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you like the video and let's get into it. So the very first thing I did at medical school was actually take a test. I had a test on the first day of medical school from 8 to 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm in danger! And since I'm commuting, I have to wake up at 5 a.m. for this. I had to leave the house at 6.30, take the GO train, and then take the TTC to school where I sat in the test. So this test didn't actually count for marks. It was just this test so that they could get technical difficulties out of the way. And then I had three hours of lecture. So these hours of lecture were based on embryology and they taught us everything we needed to know in these three hours. So keep in mind, this is your first day of medical school and you're getting bombarded with all these different things. It's just very exhausting. I needed to get some coffee to fuel me for the rest of the day. So I went to the nearest Tim's and got that double double that everyone's looking for. And then after that, there was a lunch break, which goes generally from 12 p.m. to about 1 p.m. And then I sat with a few friends in the medical's lounge and then proceeded over to CBL. So what CBL you may ask? CBL is something called case-based learning. So they essentially give you a case study of a patient and then you go through it, look at the history, the physical examinations, other information, and then come to a conclusion on what the case is. You're also given questions that help guide you along this journey and help you think about the things you should be thinking about. Essentially CBL or case-based learning is helping you think like a doctor and that's done independently in your group, not with a doctor or any of that sort. So that went on from 1 to 4 p.m., after which I was totally exhausted. I had to take the GO train back and then the TTC, and it was just really difficult. I had came back and actually took a nap for two hours. And although I was really happy and very excited about medical school, it did hit me very fast. So the next day was a lot less hectic. It was only a half day, thank God. And I left at around 7.30, got to school around 8.45 for my 9 a.m. class, which was essentially just an intro to anatomy where they just taught us about how we should be looking at it, how the cadavers go, how we should be respecting them because it is a really big thing that they've donated their body for this. And then we were met with a few other people who were from the Office of Learner Affairs who were just looking out for us. The one thing I've noticed in medical school is that there are so many people who want to help you. And that's really ironic because when we were all undergrad students, no one cared about us. You just had to grind it out. But once you make it to medical school, it's very, very good. They take real great care of you. I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything down to the last minute details. And you're going to need it because medical school does dump a lot of stuff onto you. So it is makes sense. So not every Tuesday goes like this. Most Tuesdays are actually anatomy labs. So for the first three weeks after this week, I have six hour anatomy labs. And that seems like a lot, but I'm honestly extremely excited because this is something I've wanted to do for such a long time. And I'll let you know how it went in some future video. So after the lectures on Tuesday, I grabbed some lunch with my friends at Chipotle because it opened up real by and Chipotle is the best. And then I went home and started studying for a few hours because embryo was really, really hectic. They had some really big lectures where they literally tell you what happens on every single day after fertilization. And I didn't know if we need to memorize that because there was a test the following week. So I needed to make sure I was on top of my game and reviewed everything I needed. On top of that, I decided to go to the gym, even though I was really tired from the day before and Tuesday was tiring as well but you need to stay in shape. So I decided to go to the gym for around an hour long session. And by the time I got home, I was so tired that I just crashed right away. So now that brings us to Wednesday. Wednesday is actually a day off. Bro, what are you talking about, man? And some of you may be really surprised because you think medical school gives you a day off. I didn't even have a day off in undergrad. And yes, we do, but that doesn't mean we can just sit at home and chill because we actually have something called self-learning material. So they give you other lectures on top of the lectures on Monday that you're supposed to do by yourself. And I had around two hours of this left 
And I also forgot to mention that you have to complete pre-week for every single week before you go to the Monday lecture. I had not completed this because all week was way too overwhelming and I also had to go over all of these materials to make sure I was caught up to the rest of the class. So this took around four to five hours of studying and that's what I did for most of the day. I went to the gym after that and just chilled because I wanted to make sure that I was on top of my game but also just giving myself some adequate rest because I want to do well the next day. So I decided to go to the gym with Herman and Ruchel because they also have a class around that time. But it was just really difficult because these guys are really annoying at the gym. They always want to one up each other. And I was so tired and they just kept me going up and up in weight because obviously I have to stay competitive with them. But by the time I was done, it was extremely, extremely tired. And I was so sore that I couldn't even move my legs. So thanks, Naman and Ruchel. Like no, God! No, God, please, no, no! After the gym, I actually had an event for my nonprofit organization, Blankets for Teal. Naman, Ruchel, and I went to the event together since we're all co-presidents and had this wonderful event where we talked to all of our execs about what we want in the upcoming year. I'll insert a picture right here. And it was just a lot of fun. I really liked connecting with our team again after the summer. And then we also proceeded to talk about some Medboy stuff. We had to come up with some new video ideas for you. And if you guys have any video ideas that you want, please drop them in the comments below. So now we're moving on to Thursday. In the morning on Thursdays, generally we have something called IPE, which is Interprofessionalism and Ethics. And we generally go over different types of topics in medicine, also on social media, about what we should be doing as medical students and how we should be handling ourselves in the digital world. I think it's a really interesting topic and it gives you a lot of insight in what you should do in these difficult situations. After that, I was really, really excited. I had lunch right after, so that was exciting for sure. But this was the first time I was going into the hospital. So I'm based at Toronto General Hospital, which is one of the biggest hospitals in the world with the leading people in medicine and leading doctors. So I was ecstatic and I was going in to review my CBL case or my case-based learning case that I was talking about earlier in the video with a tutor this time. So there's actually a doctor that comes in and reviews the case, goes over the questions and answers any more questions that you might have about this case. I thought this was really helpful because it gives you the insight of what a doctor would look at when there's a case like this. Our doctor was actually a pathologist and I really found that interesting because I'd never come across a pathologist before. And this gave me some insight into different specialties as I'm still deciding which specialty I want to go in. And this was really good for me. After CBL, it ended at around four. I went home, took the TTC and the GO train to get home. So I got home around 5.30. And then I just chilled for a bit, took some rest, and then would reviewed a little into embryology because I wanted to make sure I was on top of stuff. And that took around one to two hours. After that, I just spent some time with my family because honestly, I hadn't seen them since all week because it's just gotten so busy now. Before that, I was never this busy and now it's just completely overwhelming, but it is a privilege and I feel honored to be in medical school, so I'm not complaining. So now comes Friday. Friday is probably my most favorite day of the week for medical school because that's when you get to go into a hospital and practice clinical skills. So these are the skills that you really think of when you think of being in medical school, learning how to take a history, learning how to use your stethoscope, learning how to take BP. These are the things that you learn on the Friday. So I'm placed at Michael Guerin Hospital for that and I'm very happy to be there. And for the first week, what we were doing is doing role plays with partners where you kind of have to collect information without knowing too much about what their story is. So they're presented with a little story of who they are, what their problem is, and they'll act in that situation. And then you have to be a medical student and try to take their history. I found this really interesting because at first it seems so easy because you're just going and talking to someone. However, it's so easy to forget those little things and miss out on a key detail that you really want to make sure you write it down and follow a checklist because it really helps you get into the form of things. And eventually as you get more practice and you see more people, you're going to get better and better. 
then next week we're actually going to have standardized patients come in so these are actors who come in and act a certain scenario and you get to interview them take their histories take their different information and then the following week we're actually seeing real patients and this is something i'm so excited for i really am looking forward to this so much because this is why i wanted to become a doctor i wanted patient interaction this is what i wanted since i was four years old and it really truly is a privilege so that's the end of the week i'm sitting here on a saturday today thinking back on the week reflecting on it and honestly it was probably one of the best weeks of my life yes it was hard there was a test there were really big lectures you had to get through a lot of content and yes i do have to go study right after filming this but i'm just really happy that i'm in medical school and i'm working this hard because this is what i've always wanted and if you like this video if you like this type of content please like and subscribe. If you want a day in the life, we're more than happy to film it. So let us know in the comments if that's something you'd like and we'll get right on it. See you next Monday.